Hey, this is Arsenef from Rambling Regan. It has been a while. I think a couple of months. I haven't done any videos of any kind. I haven't even done any gaming videos at all in like two months or something like that. Um, but um, I wanted to do this video now um, because I've been getting a lot of messages. First of all, thank you. Um, it's really sweet. A lot of people have been, you know, seeing how I was doing. Um, both health-wise, as you can tell from the bags on my eyes, I don't sleep very much. <laughs> um, but uh, the whole situation with uh, Drew Dreschel, um, for those that are new to this channel, um, first of all, thank you and welcome. <laughs> I don't do much content these days. Um, but in the past, I spent, I don't know, nine years, almost ten years, uh, doing Ninja Warrior related stuff, well, mostly Sasuke in Japan, but um, Drew was in both. So for those who don't know, um, where have you been for the past two weeks? <laughs> Sorry, this is my normal tone. I'm constantly sarcastic. Um, but uh, Drew Dreschel has been part of the Ninja Warrior community for God, I think about 10 years, well, maybe a little bit less, I'm not sure when, um, when the, was it Jump Street? I'm trying to remember what that show was in G4. I'm sure in the comments you'll let me know because my, my brain is like erasing everything and my memory is like of a gnat these days. But, um, Specifically with me, well, the two times that I was in Japan for Sasuke 31 and 32, which was 2015 and 2016, um, Drew was not only the one of the American representatives, he was the star of the show. Um, and this is, you know, well before, you know, his uh, rise and win. Uh, I think it was, yeah, last year? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't watched A&W in years. But um, he's been quite prolific in Ninja Warrior all around the world. All the different uh, international events. Um, he's done a lot of stuff for the community. So this news has hit like a ton of bricks for a lot of people. Um, Y'all know at least that I'm quite jaded. So stuff like this doesn't quite rattle me um mostly because a lot of people don't know much of my background on purpose <laughs> you don't normally start with a conversation like this but um i thought it was important to kind of bring that up mostly because of the messages that i have been getting um a lot of it just and people of all different ages um you know, it, it's just, it's the cross between, you know, someone that's older or around the same age as Drew, sort of like, you know, how can this happen? You know, what's going to happen to him next? You know, did he really break the law? Um, you know, you know, I was, you know, insert age before um, being considered a legal adult in the U.S., you know, wasn't a virgin at that point <laughs> you know it, what makes this a felony you know that sort of thing and I'm not gonna concentrate specifically on that aspect on this video because that's its own argument um, but um, the younger ones are usually the ones that just pull at my heartstrings you know my husband and I we celebrated 23 years of marriage now we decided we weren't gonna have kids for a lot of medical reasons and so but um the community is mostly kids and you know people that are underage and it just hurts when you read how their world is destroyed um again i'm jaded i'm not into the whole hero worship thing i've had my life destroyed <laughs> by people that i considered heroes and um so it hurts when I see this. So, you know, basically NBC, which airs American Ninja Warrior here in the U.S., um, has decided that they're going to basically edit him out of the future stuff because they apparently 
taped season 12 um, a couple of weeks. I would assume now it's like a month ago. Um, they're going to be airing that in September. Thank you, SMF, for letting me know because I don't watch the show. <laughs> and I think they're missing a teachable moment. Um, there's been a lot of discussion online, you know, Reddit, SMF, I'm sure in Facebook. I don't have a Facebook, so everybody's freaking out over there as well. It's like, what to do now? Um, I feel bad for the victim. First of all, thank you, whoever you are. Um, and it's not like a me too, you know, you should always listen to girls or anything. It's like, no, I mean, this just happened. So, you know, kudos for doing it very, very quickly. Um, keeping people from him. <laughs> you know, she's just one folder. I don't know how many others. I, you know, she was 14 when this whole thing started. Um, thank you for doing that. Because most people don't report stuff like that. I mean, the embarrassment of everybody paying attention to your sex life online and, you know, determining on whether or not you deserved it. It's just... <sighs> but anyway, you know, I think NBC has, I think now the obligation to use this time to explain to people what happened. Um, and I'm not even talking about the legal thing, you know, is he going to be indicted? He's going to be put away for life, which he is facing. Um, or whether or not these things legally, like, no, morally, you don't do that. <laughs> you know, he's not, I mean, he's going for a plea. So that automatically tells you that he knows what he did is wrong. He's just trying to keep himself from going to prison for the rest of his life. Um, you know, he admitted to the phone that had all the server information in there. Like he didn't deny it. It was like, even if you go from, you know, what the mother said to what was physically, like the actual physical evidence, he doesn't deny the actual physical evidence. I'm sure he'll try to, you know, contend all kinds of other things. You know, if I hear age of consent one more time, I'm going to roll. Ugh. Anyway, but, um, NBC actually dealt with the topic of, you know, sexual ex exploitation um, quite delicately with Flip, uh, Flip Rodriguez. And I won't go through the whole thing. I don't even want to think what he's going through right now. Good Lord. But um, I think, at least in my opinion, <laughs> that they dealt with that well. You know, it taught people that this stuff happens. You know, the reason why you get so many problems with underage anything, you know, I'm a victim of physical abuse. Was since I was a kid. I mean, I ran away from home at 15 because I wanted it to stop. You know, I'm not advocating for people to do that, please. No, <laughs> you know, the Lord took mercy and my family figured out a way to deal with that. And, you know, my relationship has been repaired. But this stuff happens because people don't talk about it. You know, when a child meets someone, especially someone that they know, it, I mean, it is far worse when it's someone that you know, which is why I'm getting all these emails of, like, I... I thought he was a good person, you know, and it, it doesn't even have to be Drew in this situation. It is someone that you know, someone you look up to, you know, how do you handle that? You know, this starts at home and this starts very early or it should. Um, for parents that are terrified of, you know, having, you know, the birds and bees conversation, I'm sorry. <laughs> Your kid knows, probably knows a hell of a lot more than they're giving on and probably have already experienced. But the thing that happens when you don't, when you shelter your child to the point that when something like this happens, they don't see the signs. They don't see, you know, the grooming. They don't see where... 
where where they're going to be going is not where they should be you know there are laws for kids for a reason it's our responsibility to take care of them and in the absence of that there's the government but that always requires for the victim to turn around and say hey something happened how about try preventing that from happening you know it's just it's frustrating to watch and i can completely understand of course somebody will look at me going you have no kids you have no idea i've been that kid <laughs> you know waving my hands going yo something's really wrong you know i i hope i hope nbc brings this to light again because this is not the first time something like that's happened um it will be the first time with the current champion and how are you going to cut that out you know for the you know sasuke and ninja warrior community they know of him they know what happened and they know what's happened off season too <laughs> you know but for the newer people that only just watch it when it's on television they're gonna go wait what <laughs> australia has already gone through this um i think it was last night yeah i think it was last night where they aired uh, i think it was uh, australia versus the world um that's all new to me i don't watch these shows so, but they had like this big disclaimer going you know they didn't name him specifically but it was the hey we cut somebody else out because there's some legal proceedings going on and like and I understand that the focus is the Australians in Australia. Um, I wish I did a little bit more with that. But at least I give them kudos going because everybody else after that, I mean, there were, you know, newspaper articles of like, wow, people were jarred and figuring out what the heck is going on. <laughs> you know, and it's just... <sighs> people really need to talk about this stuff. My personal story, I learned of what a predator is by the age of four. Yes, four. And that saved me. You know, all of my family members um, were sexually abused. My mother by her own father. My oldest sister is a result of a rape. My middle sister was also. But they all taught me by the age of four what to look for. You know, I had the graphic conversations and I, while I may not condone or, or advocate is the word I'm looking for, for that type of conversation to start, you need to teach them that that stuff is for later, you know, treat give them all of the information and let them be able to process that if they have questions you are there <laughs> you know that's kind of your job you know or otherwise someone else is going to teach them even a harsher lesson and they're going to be scarred forever you know i have very strong views <laughs> on what should happen to child predators but there are laws against that, and damn Supreme Court of the United States is taking off capital punishment as an option. But, um... What to do next? Um... Having that conversation saved me. You know, I knew when it was what was about to happen, and I managed to get away from it. Managed unscathed relatively unscathed um and it doesn't have to be you know just talk to the daughters talk to your sons too if anything ask flip about that <laughs> it's just there will be people who would find someone that is vulnerable because they have no mechanism to defend themselves and even worse when they're looked up to and this is not just about Drew, although this is the vehicle in which we have this conversation. This conversation has to happen. And it has to ha happen everywhere. You know, I don't care what the other laws are in different countries or whatever. In this country, 
we protect our young. And for someone that is that age, I'm sorry, you are still a kid. And in about five to 10 years, you'll look back and realize, yeah, I did a lot of stupid things. <laughs> or I really shouldn't have done that. Or now I see what they're talking about. But for the adults who abuse that relationship to get personal satisfaction, I have no pity for them. I feel bad in this particular situation for April, who's going to be raising a newborn, potentially without a father, um, to have her entire life out in the public so people dissect and whatever, um, to the victim, because I know there's more. There, there's absolutely more if the feds took the opportunity to explain that there were more folders and the one that is filing is one of the folders. If you are one, and it doesn't have to be Drew, if you are someone who has had that happen to you, do what victim number one did and speak up. Let the chips fall where they may. If you were underage, they won't know who you are. Be prepared. They will ask you invasive questions and whatever. I mean, just it's. I wish there were better ways of handling something like that than having the victim live through that all over again. But, um. It has to happen because when you stay quiet, that's another person that they're going to be preying on. So yes, this video has been all over the place. Um, in the end, at least for the Ninja Warrior community, the ones grappling on what they're going to do with the show, other ones, you know, th thankfully having empathy for the victims and everything in between. Um, the allure of this show has always been ordinary people doing extraordinary things. Do not have this person define who you are. I know a lot of people are asking themselves, how could they have not seen this? Am I that type of person? No. And don't be ashamed for loving the show or even loving him. His accomplishments are completely separate from his personal life. As painfully obvious as it is now. You know, don't be ashamed that you liked Sasuke. Don't be ashamed that you liked Drew's um, physical prowess. I mean, that's the reason why people liked him. He was a winner. He was consistent. Um, everything that he did wasn't because he cheated in any way. It's just that that was who he was, but this is also who he is. So for the ones that are grappling, you know, should I still stay in this or whatever? That's your decision to do, but don't separate who that person is from you. You know, you can be better than him. And if you haven't done any of this stuff, you already are better than him. So if you use this with motivation, great. For those who are devastated, and there's a lot of you, hang in there. This will pass. And over time, you'll learn and process through your own grief, because it is grief. And anybody that belittles that doesn't understand how much of an impact this one person did. And so, I guess my message is of hope. Hang in there. And, you know, don't be ashamed. Don't retcon your own history because of how you feel now. And that's also my message to NBC. Take this opportunity and use it to teach people that this is not okay. So, that's it.